Guys, in this video, we're going to take a few minutes to talk a little more about holsters, particularly leather holsters. Now, leather holsters are a very popular option for a lot of people, depending on the firearm, depending on their personal preferences. Me, personally, I like a lot of different leather holsters. I do have a couple for different firearms that I have. And for some of the older firearms that I have, I just think that a leather holster is just absolutely perfect. You know, if it's a classic firearm, that's something that I would prefer having my gun in is one of these leather holsters. Now, when a lot of people purchase a leather holster, especially those who are unfamiliar with them, they find out very quickly that a new holster is often very difficult to get their firearm in. In fact, some people will actually send the holster back thinking that it just does not fit. In some cases, it may not. However, if it is made specifically for your firearm, if it's brand new, it's going to be stiff and it does require a break-in period. There's a few things that you can do to speed up the break-in period a little bit and help your gun fit in the holster just a little bit faster, make it a little more comfortable for you. Here's the holster that I purchased for my Smith & Wesson 4506. This is one that I found online very affordably, but it still seems to be a very good quality holster. The holster in most cases, with most leather holsters, when you get them and you go to put your firearm in them, it is extremely difficult. They are very tight when you first go to put that firearm in there. And the reason for that is the way that leather holsters are molded. You will see on some videos where some of the craftsmen are demonstrating how they make their holsters, they will actually wet mold these holsters. A lot of them will take them and put them into some warm water and then mold them that way and that's a very good process however one of the things that happens a lot of time with the leather is, is that, that as it dries that leather will actually shrink once that leather shrinks the gun fits much tighter into that holster and it needs to be stretched back out some of the steps that you can do to ensure that the holster stretches properly and that your firearm fits is by loosening it up, by stretching that leather out again, only doing it dry. You don't want to put it back in water or anything like that. Some people say that you can put mink oil or some type of other leather oil on your holster to loosen it up. However, one of the things that you run into doing that is you will lose a lot of the form, a lot of the detail in the form that you paid for in that holster. Another area of strain is once you do get that in, it's often difficult to strap that gun in there. So what we're going to do to help that is just to work the leather just a little bit. Just uh, when you get it, it may take you a few days to get it loosened up, but this is some of the things that you can do to help. Just take the strap itself and then just work it back and forth. And what you're actually doing is stretching those leather fibers. And over a period of time, they're going to stretch anyways. This process just kind of helps to speed that up and make your gun fit in the holster a little sooner. Another trick here to be able to get the firearm fitting in there is to take a plastic bag. Now this plastic bag does a couple of things. One thing is that it helps to protect the finish on your pistol. You simply put your pistol in the plastic bag like that. And again, it helps to protect the finish. The other thing that it does is just that small gap, that just that little bit of plastic, the thickness of that plastic, helps to stretch that leather just a little bit more. You take the holster and put your firearm in it and you want to push down on the back of the slide. You want that chamber closed and then once you get that holster in there you can strap it. It takes a little bit of working with to get that in there all the way the way that it should be. Now for those of you all who may not know this firearm is unloaded. I checked it well before filming. And once you get the firearm in there and get that snap on, it'll take a little bit of work. But there we are. We have it inside that holster and we have it snapped. And what we're going to do now is we're just going to let that set 
for a day or two and then when we come back it should be much looser than what it is. After a couple of days of your firearm being in the holster like this, you should be able to remove it. And it, again, it's going to be a little stiff coming out. And then remove it from the plastic bag. And you should know very soon how well, how much better that it fits. Just slip it down in there, pull the strap over it, and strap it in with no problem whatsoever. The more you use the holster, the easier that it's going to become, uh, the more broke in that it's going to become. This is just one little way to help speed up the process to make it a little more comfortable for you, a little easier to draw your firearm. I just really like how a holster like that looks with a classic firearm such as the Smith & Wesson. Guys, down in the description, I'm going to put a couple of links to some more popular brands of leather holsters where you can check them out on Amazon. Anyways, guys, if you liked the video, I would appreciate it if you would give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. And let me hear from you guys. Do you prefer a leather holster or do you prefer polymer holsters, kydex holsters, that sort of thing? Put those in the comments down below. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.